after so many witnesses have seen the so-called flying saucers, their existence cannot longer be denied. I believe that these flying objects come from another solar system. This is the famous Army Ballistic Missile Agency photo of astronautics pioneer Hermann Oberth, front and center, with protege Van Owen Brown behind and to his left. Photographer Hank Walker took the shot on the 1st of February 1956 at Patrick Air Force Base near Cocoa Beach, Florida. It appeared on page 32 and 33 of the 27 February 1956 issue of Life magazine. Oberth was the author of 1923's The Rocket into Interplanetary Space, where he laid out the basic mathematics and physics of rocketry, proposed higher performance liquid propellants, and discussed the feasibility of human space travel. My American friends will be quick to credit Robert Goddard's 1919 A Method for Reaching Extreme Altitudes, but this video is not about the American. The video is about the fact that just prior to coming to the United States to work for the U.S. Army and Warm Brown in Huntsville, Oberth stated plainly, in writing, that the flying saucers were real and of interplanetary origin. I think that they are possibly manned by intelligent observers who are members of a race that may have been investigating our Earth for centuries. I think that they possibly have been sent to conduct systematic long-range investigations, first of men, animals, and vegetation, and more recently of atomic centers, armaments, and centers of armament production. I have examined all of the arguments supporting the existence of flying saucers and denying it, and it is my conclusion that the unidentified flying objects do exist are very real and are visitors from outer space.